Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Asterius here and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make uh, this color correction in Final Cut Pro. Uh, now before I begin this video, I just want to let you guys know that it's hot as fuck here. And like I have my fan on, my windows open, so uh, just ignore any background noises that you hear. Uh, also there's some like retarded kids playing basketball outside, so uh, uh, yeah hopefully they don't make too much noise. Anyways, uh, let's, get, let's just get started. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new project, call it CCQ Torio, if I can spell, um, or mine, CC shit, let's just leave it at that, and it worked. Uh, so second, drag in your clips, uh, so, and don't use uh, dark theme by the way, uh, this is for light theme. I'll make another tutorial on uh, dark theme if we can hit like, I don't know, uh, 30 likes on this video, so I'll smash the like button, and I will do one on dark theme. Uh, so let's just split this clip and delete it, this part. I'm only keeping it at one second so it doesn't take too long for rendering. And I'm also going to mute the audio. Uh, so next what you want to do is drag in a colorize effect. So just type in colorize, drag it in. Go to video and uh, let's just maximize this. Uh, so for the reamp black you want to set the red value to uh, 1 green value to 1 and blue value to 1 as well so everything is 1 1 1 okay so basically it will make a white color now for the reamp white uh, you want to set the red value to 1 green value to 0 0.8 and the blue value to 0 0.8 as well and uh, set the intensity to 0 0.3 I mean 33.3 fuck I'm autistic okay sorry guys uh, anyways Next, uh, you want to drag in three spot effects. So just drag in one, uh, two, and three. Uh, let me just let it load. Okay, there we go. Uh, now set all the parameters, your mount, feather, radius, contrast, everything to the max value. Just drag the little dragging thingy. I don't know what it's called. Uh, just drag it all the way to the beginning, okay? Uh, yeah, don't uh, do it. Do it for the um, don't do it for the x and y value. Though only for the uh, other parameters you can do it, but not for the x and y. Uh, so right now I know it looks like shit. It's like a freaking white screen, but uh, we're about to fix that. So for the first spot effect, set the y value to two point five. Uh, you don't need to like do anything with the x value, so you can just leave it at zero. Uh, so for the second one, set it to two point eight. And you can already see it's make it's looking a little bit better now. Okay, and for the last one, set it to three. And there we go. You actually, yeah, it already looks pretty good if you think about it. If this is what you want, you can actually just like use this color correction. But we're gonna try to make it even better. Uh, so go down to wait. What the hell did I just do? My bad. Uh, so go down to the blend mode and set it to multiply. Now the obviously it didn't change anything but we're we're gonna fix that. We're gonna make it change. Alright, so go over to the generators tab, which is right here, and type in gradient. And then you drag in a gradient underneath the original Agario clip thingy, whatever. And I'm just gonna trim this. Uh so there we go. Now you can already see it looks uh, it, it made changes obviously and it looks it doesn't look too bad. But we are going to make it look uh, the yellowish pinkish thingy that I showed you guys before. So set the color to um, a really light yellow. I would say 1, 1, 0 0.75. That looks pretty good. Uh, set the point 0.1 Y value to 0 0.1. So we can bring it down a little bit. And the second color you want to set that to a really light pink. So 0 I mean 1, 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.8 again. Uh, now you're basically done I think. Yeah you are. Uh, you can lower the opacity if you want. If you don't want to be too pink. So you can put it at like 75. But I think it looks good at 100. But uh, yeah that's basically it guys. You're done. Uh, you can always play around with the colors. Change them up to whatever you like. Uh, so if you want it to be like white and a really light blue color. I guess you could just uh, change it up a little bit. So there we go. You already have a, little, a, light, a blue and a white color correction thingy. But uh, I think the one that we had before looks the best. 
to be honest. So, uh, yeah, you're done, guys. Um, so if we can reach 30 likes on this video, I'll do a tutorial on dark theme. And, um, I'll show you on the screen how the dark theme uh, color question is going to look. So I'll reach 30 likes and I'll show you how to do this. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, like the video, um, if it was helpful and all that shit. And, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, share the video as well and peace.